Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Pikmin 3 playthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I've been having a blast playing this game and, uh, you know, I was actually kind of worried about this because of how, you know, not well I know this game compared to the first two games, but I think it's been going pretty well so far. We've had some Pikmin deaths here and there, haven't been super optimal with everything, but I think that for someone who doesn't know this game very well, and, you know, someone who's only beaten this game once before, I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. So, uh, let's go ahead and get things moving here. Before we do, let's check in with our captains. This area is quite warm compared to other regions on this planet. Quite warm? This is a tropical paradise compared to the Arctic wasteland where I crash-landed. I would love an Arctic cold fruit juice right about now. Well, Brittany, I think we've earned a little reward. Perhaps we could go for a nice, refreshing swim. No! I mean, with all due respect, sir, the oxygen concentration here is much higher than that of Kapai. Removing your spacesuit would wreak havoc on your system. Alright, calm down, Alf. Don't get your swim trunks in a bunch. I mean, he was saying to, like, not swim. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Pikmin Captain Logic. Can't really explain it don't want to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this day started. I'm trying to think of how I want to organize this, because there is actually kind of a little side activity I want to do before I get things moving here. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab... I'm actually going to grab 50 reds, because red Pikmin are awesome, and I like them. <laughs> I think that's a good enough reason. I like them, so we're going to use them. Uh, so we're going to go to the bridge over here to start. Uh, this was the bridge that we had the yellow Pikmin make yesterday. And uh, we're going to go over here to this area. Uh, we're going to throw, I guess, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll throw Brittany up here. And we're going to throw, I guess I, I don't know if I want to throw all 50 Pikmin, but we'll throw, maybe I'll throw 40. That should be enough to... Uh, do what we need to do. Uh, so we're going to go over here and follow this path. And this will actually take us to a very familiar area, but first off, we have another upgrade. I can't quite place where I've seen this before. I should get it back to the Drake for a thorough analysis. Ooh, guys, Brittany's being thorough. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was going for with that. Anyway, we're going to have our red Pikmin uh, bring that back. And we're going to continue on this way. Uh, this is going to be kind of scary because over here, we have Bulborbs. Bulborbs we do have. I don't know if these guys could alert the big guy, um, but uh, did not want to take that chance. So let's charge these guys. Hopefully they can do it. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, but we're not done yet. Um, we're definitely not done yet because over here, uh, if you remember correctly, yep, shear grubs. And see, it's kind of interesting. These are male shear grubs. So the uh, shear grubs from earlier actually... Uh, just changed into the male variant. And the male variants are way more dangerous than the female variant. They can actually attack. And uh, attacking's not good. And they're actually really good at attacking, too. Oh, a message from the Drake. Indeed. <laughs> Analyzing recovered item. Metal Suit Z. This undergarment increases the spacesuit's durability. I've seen this kind of item for sale before. Wow, there's even a manual with it. We should make note of this item in the exploration notes. So it increases the durability of your spacesuit. I think it's just like a defensive up, a defensive piece of equipment there. Nice, so this on my spacesuit will be a little more durable, indeed. Okay, so um, actually I meant to do this. This was kind of a mistake on my behalf. I meant to actually grab the fruit that's over here first before I went too far out of the way, but unfortunately I did not. Um, yeah, there's a fruit here. I think you could even see this, like, 
previously, like if you were here. But yeah, uh, we're gonna have you guys take it back. But we're gonna move on ahead because there is one last obstacle we need to take care of before we uh, finish uh, or go back to our other captains because uh, there is definitely another thing we need to look out for. And that would be in this cave right here because we have another slooch. Now again, slooches, they don't like... Even though they are fire-based, doesn't mean that red and Pikmin are completely immune because they can eat Pikmin, so... Again, just trying to be careful. Uh, I'm going to send you guys back here to the main base. going to go back to you guys. Uh, we're going to go very quickly grab some bomb rocks. Because bomb rocks sound good right about now. While we're here, we're actually going to bring out completely 100 Pikmin. Because we're going to be doing some battling today. And battling is what we're going to do. And honestly, we're going to bring the bomb rocks, because the bomb rocks will actually help us a little bit. Wait, oh, the other ones are bringing back the fruit still. You know what? That's okay. Uh, we, mean, we, we probably won't need exactly 100 Pikmin after all, so... Oh, they're right here. Might as well grab them while they're in the area. Okay. We're 100 strong again. Okay, so let's go back over this bridge. I do have both captains with me, right? Yes, okay. Because that's going to be important for this next part. Where's my... I'm missing two Pikmin. Again, not super important, but still kind of annoying. Uh, so we're going to throw, I think, ten red Pikmin... Now, right there, uh, Brittany actually collected a data file. Um, it's a little annoying because uh, when a captain, like, indirectly collects a data file, um, it doesn't show what it is. You have to actually go through your data files and look for one that looks different. Which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. No one likes data files anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're going to push this box down, and the reason why we're doing that is because, well, if you must know, that is going to actually allow us to go through this next part. Actually, I can do this and save time. Let's go here. Let's see, this way I can just walk off with you and go over there. So if I just moved Alf all the way over there and then have to move Brittany all the way, it just wouldn't make sense. Okay, so let's do this. Get away from these guys because those guys suck. Grab you, and let's actually follow that signal. That's right, we're going to be fighting the big boss today. That's what I ultimately landed on. If there's more stuff we can do today, great, but... Uh, if we don't get to it, that's fine. We got the suit upgrade, and we got another treasure, too, so it wasn't all bad. So over here, we have another digital-looking item. Looks like a flip phone. That must be the source of the signal, but we thought it was Olimar transmitting from here. Ugh, we have to find him. At least we can scavenge that thing to expand the Drake's scanning range. Indeed. So let's scavenge that, shall we? Let's throw some Pikmin on it, and... Uh-oh. This don't look so good. Whoa! That guy looks pretty ugly. 
We're going to use one of our sprays here, by the way. The Pikmin got a real boost there. The ultra spicy essence seems to make them more aggressive. Okay, so this is the sand belching uh, mirror slug. Uh, basically, this is why you want to bring bomb rocks, because... That's a good way you can immediately stun them. Now, you don't necessarily need bomb rocks to do that. I might actually show that later when... Uh, out of bomb rocks, but, uh, get up. We're actually getting a li really good pattern here. Um, honestly, this guy, I think, is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, if I'm being quite honest. I don't know, it just seems like, at least in my opinion, he's not as dangerous as even like the previous two bosses for that, for that matter. Okay, unfortunately that's, that unfortunately didn't really help us too much. That's okay. Crap, get up. <laughs> but yeah, like, again, like, I got a really good pattern, so I'm sorry I couldn't really explain everything I wanted to, but, uh, yeah, he's really not that dangerous. Bring bomb rocks, you can avoid his quicksand attack pretty easily. And the rocks don't really seem that lethal when he throws rocks at you, so I don't know, it just doesn't seem like this boss is really that bad. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start bringing stuff back here. Uh, we have a lot of watermelon pieces to bring back. <laughs> A lot of watermelon. Watermelon is a pretty big fruit after all. So we're going to make sure we get as much of this as we can. And honestly, in my opinion, you can probably forego the boss body. Because you really don't need like that many Pikmin throughout the game. At least from what I remember. So you can probably even like forego the boss carcass if you don't want to pick it up. There, again, there's just a lot of stuff you have to get. So... Okay, I'm trying to... Oh my god. I have like Pikmin like all over the frickin... The guy's actually under one of the watermelon pieces, so that's a little obnoxious. Okay, let's get this guy out of the freaking way then. Okay. Oh, wow, that wasn't far enough. Okay. Wow, it was a little piece too. <laughs> the piece that only needs one to pick it up. Okay, there is also another thing here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take you... Wait. There's more Pikmin. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and bring you guys back to base here. And we're just going to enjoy a heavenly stroll back to base. Analyzing! Okay. What do you got? 
Oh, a message from the Drake. It's almost like you get one whenever we get an upgrade of some kind. Analyzing recovered item. Analysis complete. The folded data glutton. A communication device once used on this planet. Its signal strength is very powerful and it contains technology unknown to Kapai. Its transmitter is fully intact. Or intact. I should have Alf take a look at this, too. I'm sure he's got a few more engineer's tricks up his sleeve. Indeed he does, so... Oh, shoot, and of course we have to do this again. Uh, so yeah, with that, we'll be able to actually go to our next area. I'm honestly really happy I was able to uh, get this and the other thing I was doing today. Um, I would have liked to have done something else, and maybe I still can... It's just really hard to tell because, again, we have to walk all the way back here. We're also getting kind of, like, <laughs> pushed against the wall by this giant enemy carcass. So I don't think I'll be able to do very much else here, but, uh, it's okay. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we, uh, that's okay. I'm surprised it says zero Pikmin are in danger when... There's definitely some who haven't gotten back to base yet. Maybe they did. No, they definitely haven't. Oh, they're in that transition, so it's not counting that. Okay, well, either way. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to do anything else for obvious reasons, but uh, one thing I am going to do is uh, very quickly... I'm going to actually break this wall here. Because this will be like the next thing we do uh, on this day. And yeah, I think I will actually come back here uh, next day. I was honestly kind of debating going uh, to the new area. But uh, I think I'll stick around and do one more day's worth of stuff. So we're going to make sure we get all of our Pikmin here. This is really annoying. It can be, like, really annoying to get, like, all your Pikmin back at this point because they kind of get stuck in the cave. But it looks like we have them all. We harvested the big body. We got, uh, two pieces of fruit. We got two upgrades. You know, not the biggest fruit gain today, but if we, uh, play our cards right, we can be very productive tomorrow and get actually a fair bit of stuff done. So I'm kind of hoping that's the ultimate goal here. Um... Definitely not necessary, but let's... Just for fun, let's get some more reds. <laughs> I mean, hey, uh, while the clock's still counting down, you might as well use your time... some way, I guess. Okay. So we got our 100 Pikmin. I think the Reds did pretty good today. We just It was a very red day. <laughs> a very red day. I, I should have probably gotten more, like, leaves on my Pikmin. But, or leaves into flowers, is what I mean. Sorry, Mr. Whiptongue Bulborb. You're going to have to find uh, something else to eat today. Eat rocks or something. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you eat. Just don't, don't eat me. <laughs> or my Pikmin. Stay away from those two things. Everything else, fair game. New fruit! Yay! That's a lot of watermelon. <laughs> First, though, we got the delectable bouquet. This was the treasure that was... Or the fruit that was at the uh, beginning of the area. Or, we're, we're Alf crash landed basically. Where he crash landed. We got 15 types of fruit. Nicely done. We've managed to uh, secure quite a bit of the fruit on this planet. But if we're going to save Kapai, we're going to need even more. We're going to need as much fruit as possible. Fruit! <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what it's going for there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be filling up this watermelon now. I'm going to go ahead and like speed this up because it's a lot of watermelon to get through. 
It's actually even funny, like, even, like, the... Like, it analyzes every bit of this. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, I thought I pressed this. There we go. Uh, but yeah, like, even, like, the small, tiny bit of watermelon, like, only fills up, like, like a little bit, like, one-eighth of the bottle. <laughs> Uh, so we're up to 26 now. Uh, didn't gain too much today, but again, we uh, we made major progression, and we also got upgrades, which is also important. So I think we did pretty well considering. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be all right for a little while. Only a little while, though. Okay. Once again, no depths. Uh, we got 50 more red Pikmin. Probably completely unnecessary, but... You know, Red Pikmin are the fighters, so when we have a lot of fighting to do, the Red Pikmin are pretty good to have. I would say it'd be good to build up rocks as well, but uh, the thing about rocks is, rocks are indestructible to most forms of attack, and they also have the ability to kind of stun lock some enemies, but I don't know, I, I don't think it's like super wise to get like a bunch of rocks. As, as long as we have at least a hundred of each type, I think that's a good benchmark to aim for in general, but, uh, you know, it's all subjective. Some Pikmin players don't think they need much of certain types, so if they don't need them, they don't need to get them, so. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's what I kind of like about this game, is there's, like, a bunch of different ways you can play. Okay, so Charlie is in the, uh, captain's chair tonight. We showed that beastly mirror slug who was boss and retrieved the communication device without incident. Alpha is working on incorporating the device's transmitter to the Drake's communication systems. The creatures on this planet will eat anything. What gluttons. I'm glad we copites aren't like that. Well, you drink a lot of juice, like, really quickly, I guess. Well, I don't know. I guess they're not as, like... I don't know. They, they, they show some restraint. I mean, they... they all three of them basically share, like, one container of that juice per day, so... You know, they're they're doing alright. They're doing alright. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for day number eight. We probably will have a cutscene here just to show what we can potentially do for day nine. Although I am going to ignore that and probably go back to the uh, area we were just at again. Twilight River. This area is really cool. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> it's a really cool area. Thanks to the technology we found, we've been able to expand the Drake's scanning range even more. So, another signal? Hmm, we thought the last signal was coming from Olama. We have to follow it. It's our only clue to this location and that in the cosmic drive key. I feel like we're on a wild goose chase. Or worse, what if this Olimar isn't what he seems? Don't worry, Brittany. If anything happens, you have both Alf and me here to protect you. Why doesn't that comfort me? <laughs> you see, Brittany is a strong, independent, young, copite woman. She can handle herself. All right, then. Let's get going. The hunt for Alamar continues. But we're not going to go here next time. Like I said, we are going to be going back to the... Uh... uh Tropical Wilds yet again. We have some more fruit we can get. Uh, could be a very productive fruit uh, day if everything goes correctly, but that also assumes that everything goes smoothly, so, which it probably won't. But we'll have fun figuring that out. See you guys then. Later, folks.